two nights in the books here at Junior Nationals, another fast night of racing. I'm David Reeder here with Swimming World. I'm joined by Olympic gold medalist Lauren Purdue. Lauren, uh, what brings you to Greensboro? Um, my brother actually is a um, swimmer, and he has been competing this weekend and um, doing very well. A very proud sister. Um, so he'll be attending the University of North Carolina this coming year. So. Yeah, um, as far as that is for you, so Virginia grad. Um, and what do you think about him uh, beating your 200 free time, even though you're not a big gold medalist in that 800 free relay? Oh, I'm so proud of him. Um, you know, I've, I've been his biggest fan from day one, and um, I'm so proud of how he's been doing. I'm just excited for the future. Yeah, it's always pretty cool to see, uh, see fast times with people that are uh, friends with you know, family. Um, let's uh, recap some of, the, some of the races tonight. First thing was, um, when you were here to present boards for the girls. 200 medley relay, and it was the uh, swim mat girls. It was um, Kathleen Baker, Maya Roses, uh, Alyssa Marsh, and Lauren Rhodes uh, with a new uh, beat record. Yeah. Those girls are um, pretty fast there. Yeah, they're great, and I was honored to be able to win the award, and I'm honored to represent swim mat. Um, we had a great program going yeah. on, and um, to be a part of that is phenomenal. Do you get to train with any of them on a regular basis? I do. I train with Kathleen Baker pretty consistently. Fast girls, Kathleen's gonna be off to uh, Scotland. That's right. Cool, right. So that should be. That was her only swim of the meet, actually. Uh, and uh, we'll see what she can uh, pop off over at the dual pool. Up next, we have the Bulls guys, and then winning a tight one in the 200 medley relay. Caleb Dressel off some health issues this morning when he ended up in the emergency room. Um, some air, some air quality reports of bad air quality in here. I'm not sure, but um, he came back and he popped a 20.3 flies. That's yeah, that was impressive, and um, you know that whole team is super talented and always produces really great athletes. So that was expected from them. Definitely. Yeah. Well, what did you think last night of the night of eighteen nine? That was I, that was my first night here in the yeah. meet, so to walk on deck and see that happen was pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Yeah, I mean, this entire place just went pretty crazy when he blasted that. It's good to see Caleb back feeling well. It sounds like he's gonna be good to go for that hundred free tomorrow. Uh, first individual event was women's 4 a.m. Megan Kingsley from Mount Pleasant was out fast to fly the backstroke. She's a good 200 flyer. But it was Ella Easton with great breaststroke, great freestyle. She goes 405.25. Beats the meet record that she tied last year by, that's four and a half seconds. Uh, and 405. And Ella was at 438 this past summer with 4 a.m. That's right up there at the top. What do you think about that? Yeah, that's impressive. Um, like I said, there's superstars here at the speed this weekend. And, um, it's fun to here and watch and cheer them on. Ella Easton, junior. See what she can do this summer. And by the time she's in college, she could be down around that 4 double mark, which only a handful of uh, people have been under. Yeah. And obviously with you know, some of the girls that have been big NCAAs and have been moving yeah. on, could be. Right? I've been super impressed with what she's done. And then some pretty good times behind her. Kingsley at 410 and Catherine Draymond won your event, the 200 free at a 411. So right. yeah. pretty fast. That's 4 a.m. Curtis Ogren uh, doubled up tonight, actually. He had the 400 a.m. and a 344 in the 100 breast, and I think he went a 54 in that. Talented, super talented breaststroker. Good uh, good ad for Stanford this year. Yeah, yeah, they'll, they'll have a really good, uh, really good squad with him. Yeah, I mean, he's uh, definitely some versatility and some a bunch of different guys. I guess yeah. that's his third win in the meet, so I guess he's the uh, MVP of his meet so far. <laughs> Uh, Lewis Hunter Fly, 52-4 from Danielle Matt, kind of out of nowhere. Um, I mean, 52-4 is fast in the fly line. Very fast. She'll be headed up to Minnesota next year. That's always that that, that program's had some breaststrokers back in the um, back in the past couple of years. Not as much, um, not as much in the news nationally, but still, 52-4 can make some noise at the NCAA level. Yeah. Um, Lewis Hunter Fly without Caleb Dressel, who scratched after his. Preliminary health scare, and uh, Kyle Hornet uh, um, is off to Berkeley next year, I think, following the footsteps of some previous NCAA champions. Obviously, 47 flat, not, uh, not quite Tom Schiff. Not quite, but you know, a lot of things can change when you go to college. A lot of room for improvement. And again, we're talking 47 0, great swim. It's a rare not meet like that. Right. Women's 2 free. What was your time coming out of high school? Um, I think it was, a, if I can remember correctly, short course, I think it was about maybe a 145, 146. So it was, it was fun to watch. She and was on the Olympic team. Uh, Catherine.
Trayvon, 145-49. That was a really good last 50. Again, only 16, Claire Adams, who was out fast. The whole way had the lead, 145-5. Uh, and that's an event where, obviously, a, a lot of depth, um, a lot of depth in the U.S., maybe not quite like it was back in 2012, but um, definitely cool to see some of, I, I was surprised to see some of these younger guys. Uh, top four, all 16 or younger. It's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's amazing how the younger kids are really, really stepping up and being that wasn't one of the deeper events coming in this meet, but it certainly turned out that way. Now, up next, we had a 133.6 from Dylan Carter in the um, 200 free. And that's an event that's already, that's a time that already been pretty competitive at NCD is, and he's actually going to be enrolling mid, or mid year at USC. Okay. Yeah. So he can be, um, he can be a dark horse. And that said, he doesn't qualify for NCAAs with the swims here, so we'll have to see what he can do in Pac 12s. But, um, 133.6, that's, that's smoking. That is very fast, very fast. And that, that will be, you know, a lot of college swimmers at that time right now. I mean, one of the younger guys in NCAA is if he gets yeah. their best. He's not even 18 yet. Um, sub, we had two sub one minute 100 breaststrokes, first two in junior nationals history, even though they've only had this meet for a couple of years. And it was Lillian King, yeah. who is 16, and Lindsay Horace J. Uh, or it's just, or it's, or it's the, I can't say her name, sorry. Uh, 59 6 and uh, Lindsay was 59 7 in the prelims. Again, I mean, like, what makes, well, what made NCAAs in the 100 breast back when you were sweet? Certainly, like, a minute being close. Yeah, you know, it's, I personally was not blessed with a good breaststroke, but, um, yeah, I always tried to keep track, and honestly, I can't remember my. Yeah. It's certainly that's, that's, um, that's fast. That's a good certainly, that's something that's going to. Get some college coaches excited. Oh, yeah. Guys, race real quick. We had Ogren again, uh, winning a tight 154.5. Not his best. He's been under 54. But again, that versatility, huge for Stanford next year. And, um, you know, he's only asked so much for a guy after what he's done this week. Clara Smitty, 51 7 the 100 back. And it wasn't long ago that Natalie Coughlin, who's been 49 the 100 back, was the only one under like 53. Yeah. Um, that's amazing. That's, that's fantastic. Amazing. She'll be off to Michigan next year. Definitely. Wow. Michigan women, not traditionally, or especially in the past few years, not as much of a um, factor in the NCAA's new combined program. Any thoughts on um, just how that sort of changed a little bit? Yeah, I don't know. And, you know, combined, combining a program really changes the team aspects. And, uh, it changes a lot of things. So I think, um, you know, having that, that, that difference, that new level of competition, I think would be really good. And again, this is the first couple of years in the recruiting class for the women. Definitely up there. And Clara Smitty, she was double on the 100 back this summer. Again, backstroke, always one of the deeper events for the U.S. And um, she'll have a shot at the NCAA title. Though I, I think there'll be some girls in California that might be. Don't, might forget, don't forget UVA. We got some superstar backstrokers over there. Candace yep, Candace. always. Um, and then the guys 100 back, Tristan Sanders, 46-8, again, solid time. The fact that we're not marveling over 46-8, which, again, right off the meet record set by Ryan Murphy two years ago, less than a tenth off, and Dylan Carter coming off a tough, tough double was um, 47 flat. And we had meet records in the 800 free relays from the girls' side. It was Patriot Aquatic Club, and on the guys' side from Dynamo. And I just like, got a chance to catch up with the Dynamo guys. They've been a little off this week. Um, a bunch of them headed to UG, or to Georgia next year, including all four of these guys, the Woodland tri Triplets and Gunner Bents. Um, yeah, I think it'll be interesting to have those guys uh, all together and also Kyle Stewart. But like, like I said, those guys have been a little off this weekend. Uh, they, they say they've been affected by the air quality or maybe hard training, but um, they said there's a lot of pride on the line that really, you know, you so much being able to really. It's never been that case where disappointing me just want to put it all behind you and really have a good yeah, and you know, relays are great. It's really a, you know, kind of boosts the, the team atmosphere and the confidence of the team. And so I always enjoyed, um, you know, finishing a meet with a really strong relay, regardless of how I personally was feeling. Um, and I always enjoyed being on the relays. Yeah. yeah, I think these guys got to kick out of it. We've seen that a lot with swim mat girls, both with the men they did the tonight, but they went 1 2 last night. Definitely a pretty awesome uh, reaction I saw with those eight girls. And, uh, Coach Marsh and Coach Wander, mind the blocks. Yeah, so, um, so Lauren, talk about what, what do you think's most impressed you here so far in terms of like fast times? Um, you know, I think you said it perfectly. Just the the 
level of talent in such young swimmers is it's really impressive. And it's I, I feel like, you know, it's it's getting younger and younger every year. I'm impressed by how many young swimmers are just, you know, getting better and better. Yeah. And so it's really it's 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 fun for me because um, you know, it really pushes me to you know, desire to be yeah, yeah. the best that I can be and know that these younger swimmers are really rising up from for sure. And this is the level is me. Really, it's been a really competitive meet. I, I know someone who, um, so at the same time in the men's 200 freeze, he swam last year. He got like fourth last year, and he wasn't even in the A final uh, after tying for 10th. So definitely a high level of competition. We've seen it. The majority of the meet records here have gone down. There's still one more day. I'm out of here, unfortunately. I'm not going to be able to take in the last day. You'll be here. I will be here. And enjoy this, and good, good luck to your brother. Um, Thank you. But uh, check out, I, I think I have 15 interviews from tonight's finals. So, let, so make sure that all of, all of you viewers check out what I got. Definitely some interesting stuff. Um, some excited swimmers today. Ellie Easton was pretty pumped after that 405. And I'm um, going to talk with a couple of record break relay teams. But that's for you guys to watch. Thanks for watching my coverage from Junior Nationals here in Greensboro. Um, and that'll do it for day two. Thank you.